So recently I came across this really cool uh, lure maker in Serbia. So he makes these like custom, really unique and highly detailed insect lures. Uh, name is DM Cricket Lure. He's got his website. I'll link that in, in the description. But I ended up picking out, I believe it was six or seven of these cool little insect designs that I ordered from him. They are a little pricey. They're about $10 a piece. But for a custom handmade lure, I don't think that's too bad of a price. And they, they look really, really nice. Large attention to detail, all the way from the color scheme to the legs and everything else that he uses on these. So I ordered a bunch of them. They look really nice. Uh, this is the one I have tied on already. It's more of the uh, little traditional cricket grasshopper type lure. So plan is just to fish these things around this little lake here today and hope that we can get into some fish. I don't know how these actually run in the water, but if it's anything like uh, how they look, they should run amazing. All right, so let's give it a shot. All right, so super nice looking lure, lots of detail, only one hook on the back, but I think this lure is small enough where one hook is appropriate. If, they, if it had two hooks on it, I'd probably like it better and it wouldn't be too much, but one hook is okay. Pretty good action, subsurface, nice tight little wobble. I think this should work. We, we should be able to get a fish on this. Oh, <laughs> all right, that scared me. I saw something under the water. I thought it was a fish, then I thought it was a turtle. I've never gotten that close to one of those guys. Oh, fish on. First one of the day, what is this? Looks like a blue or Mayan? Mayan. Let's get this guy in here. First fish of the day. All right, first fish of the day. Nice little mine cichlid. So I had a couple small hits, but this is the first guy we were able to hook up with. So we'll let this one go. And I like the little cricket, so I think we're gonna keep fishing that one. No need to switch. Something came out to hit it, turned away at the last second. Right there, let's get this bait. Oh, a little bit too far of a cast, but let's get it back over that pile, right in front of that algae. Nothing that time. on there we go I think it's a bluegill this rod is super sensitive probably my most ultra ultra oh no it's a red ear come on up here red ear sunfish I love catching these guys all right beautiful red ear sunfish love catching these guys this is only my seventh or eighth ever down in Florida and my last two trips on this lake pan fishing, I pulled in two of these. This is a beautiful one, little grassy, but love the colors right on the head and that little red ear just makes it pop so nicely. So fish number two on the DM Cricket Lure is a success. Beautiful fish.
Oop, fish on. Fish off. That's so many hits I've had today. Like, like I said way, way, way in the beginning, the single hook was concerning to me, right? This lure is big enough where you probably could have fit a second lure, a uh, second hook on the lure, right at the belly. And from what I see, saw with my eyes, it looks like a lot of fish is going tapping the belly and dipping. So that second hook might have helped with the number of fish I hooked into today. Fish on. Large mouth. Oh! He took my lure. My drag was set loose and he popped me off anyway. It's not a bad knot, just he snapped my line. So I think that's gonna call it a day with sunset coming up. All right, so that is really unfortunate. It sucks to lose any lure but I would much rather lose like a little 10 cent soft plastic than a $10 handmade lure that got, I got shipped all the way here from uh, Europe. But that's part of fishing, so not the best day. All right, in two hours I managed two fish, so not too, not too bad, not too good either. Uh, and then this little largemouth I lost. It wasn't a big one, and I don't know what happened. Just It wasn't my knot, my line just snapped. I got four pound test on here, my drag was set loose just didn't work out but it was a really nice lure it swam really really well you have to retrieve, retrieve it a little bit slow uh, if you started retrieving too fast it rose to the surface and kind of spun um, but yeah I really liked it can't wait to try out the other lures I have left hopefully I don't lose those too soon here uh, link is in the description if you want to buy some the Queen Tetan it was only my third time using this rod I do really like a nice and sensitive blank. Felt every little wobble and every little hit. Unfortunately, I couldn't hook up with more fish today. So, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.